This is day one of the Erie Police Department's Crisis Intervention Unit. It is the team of officers responding to mental crisis situations. The specifically trained unit allows officers to be better prepared for mental health emergencies. Our Tom Kowalski spoke with the unit's leader as well as UPMC Crisis Services to find out just what the process is like and Tom, how it will help out the city. Good evening. Good evening, Mike and Eva. Now, not only will this all-volunteer unit be a direct help to people suffering from mental health issues, but it will also free up other units who previously had to spend time responding to calls they may not have been qualified for. Starting bright and early today at 7 in the morning, officers from the Erie PD's recently revived Crisis Intervention Unit hit the streets. There's multiple calls every shift that are going out for uh, mental health issues. Leader of the new unit, Sergeant Mark Bellotti, says the unit was trained by and will work closely with the UPMC Crisis Services Center to have the right touch to handle these sensitive situations. You know, if they receive a call that they need to go out and either do an outreach or involuntary mental health commitment, they will contact us and we'll go along with them. And vice versa, if we respond to a call and we realize that somebody is having some mental health concerns, we can contact them. And those at Crisis Services say this will be mutually beneficial for everyone in the city. You know, becoming more familiar with individuals, um, you know, being able to be proactive so that if there are individuals who maybe need um, some additional support or who might be in need of something that they can help much sooner rather than waiting to it waiting until the point that it becomes a crisis. I just think it's a positive thing all around, so I'm very excited it's coming back. And Patrolman William Fisher, one of the first officers who was on shift with the new unit, explains what the process of responding to a call is like. So we assess what, what's going on, what we can do from our perspective, and if there's nothing that we can do right then and there, we can forward their information to the right people to help them out, or if it's a crisis situation, we can have crisis come out and, and talk with the person and assess what's going on and see what they can do from their perspective. Now this unit will have enough officers that there will be someone equipped to deal with mental health emergencies at any time 24-7. Live from the studio, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now. All right, Tom.